What's up, everybody? This is Scott Waters. Welcome to Knowledge of Metal. It's time for another edition of The Mail. This edition of The Mail brought to you by, I'm going to butcher this name because I am not sure how to say this first name, but it is Rui Martins, um, who is a VC member. He's been doing videos uh, for a very short time. Uh, he's been showing mostly his uh, gigantic Slayer collection. If Captain Howdy is the biggest Kiss collector in the VC, Rui is the biggest Slayer collector in DC, and uh, he, uh, Mr. Martins uh, hails from Portugal. Um, so I'm going to put a link to his channel below. Check out his channel, especially if you're a Slayer fan, because the guy's Slayer collection is just outstanding. Um, I did pre-open this box just a little bit because uh, there was a lot of tape on it, so I <laughs> um, wanted to make sure I got a little head start so I wasn't wasting time. All right, so what is in here? Oh, right on. A Sodom back patch. That's really cool. It's a cool image too. I do like Sodom. Uh, and then the records are inside of a, a record bag here. And they're in there, nice and tight. Whoop, whoop. Excuse me. Oh, right on. This is a. Um, Rose Tattoo Assault and Battery on cassette tape. Very cool, I'll check that out. I only have one album by Rose Tattoo, it's the only one I've ever heard. So this will be the second album I've ever heard, and I do have a cassette player. I, I'm not a huge collector of cassette tapes, but like I said, I do have a cassette tape deck, and uh, I do listen to them on occasion. Uh, hold on, I'm swimming in bubble wrap here. Almost there. Open here. All right. Playing in the background, the new Ruthless album. So what have we got in this little box? All right. We got some metal, some metal vinyl in here. Metal vinyl. This is a Cootie Shark, Cootie Sack, Sark, Cootie Sark. It's a Mausoleum Records uh, release. Ooh, let's see if there's a year on here. I am not familiar with this band at all, but it looks metal, and I'm into metal, so I'm looking forward to checking this out. Um, I know Mausoleum. Anything on Mausoleum is highly collectible as well. I'm really curious what year this came out. Doesn't seem to say. Hmm. Well, there you go. Maybe one of you guys who are watching this video knows who this band is and can tell me a little bit about them. I'm sure if it's metal, I'll dig it. Mad Axeman! And it's another Mausoleum Records release. Nice! <laughs> uh, and again, I don't see a year on here, but uh, this looks definitely like some 80s heavy metal right up my alley. You got your uh, denim and leather singer right here. And your... Uh, Another clad guitar players. It's a very Judas Priest inspired heavy metal, I'm sure. This is very cool. <laughs> this next one is exciting. because I've been wanting this one for a while in my collection. This is a thrash classic, Forbidden Evil by Forbidden. Uh, new Wave or... Yeah, New Wave. <sighs> this is uh, Bay Area Thrash Metal. This might be New Wave or British Heavy Metal sounding stuff. This... Is thrash metal. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, actually, I do know. I'm really tired. And you got home. Got up 4:30 this morning. 4:30 a.m. Went to the gym. Went right from the gym to work. Got out of the work late. And uh, here I am. <laughs> All right, and one more record to go. No, two more records to go. Wow, he really packed his box full. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is Udo Faceless World. Ah, I love UDO. Um, this was their third record, I believe. Um, and I do not have this on vinyl. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> uh, classic uh, UDO record from 1990, I believe it was. This is a German pressing. Yes, 1990. And one more that I another one I'm unfamiliar with, but it looks right up my alley. It looks like it's like some kind of glam metal. This is Easy Action, and uh, this is uh, from 1984. 
So I'm looking forward to checking this out as well. So, there you have it. There's some mail from uh, my good friend. I gotta figure out how to pronounce your first name correctly, man. I'm just gonna say Rui for now because, and if that's wrong, I'm, I apologize, man. Um, I only know him by his on-screen names from, uh, you know, I, I don't really, I didn't ever knew his real name, so. Um, I believe you call Mr. Martins for short. <laughs> and uh, I got that one right, I'm sure. So, uh, Rui from Portugal. Uh, I will put, like I said, a link below. Check out his channel. And uh, thanks once again for watching. And uh, that's it. God bless and stay strong.